I remember in primary school in the medical room, in a big sign they had my name and autistic next to it. As soon as you tell someone you're autistic, even if you've known them for ages, they stop associating you with that person and just like fixate on autism and like what people, what, what people have heard about it, like the stereotypes. It's a condition which affects socialising and um, about one in a hundred people have it, I'm not sure. I know just about every road in Britain. I'm very good at cat noises. We all uh, have different personalities, we're not all the same. Each and every autistic person is like a snowflake, all different in their own way. To get to Edinburgh, you'll go to the M40 and then head north until you get to the M42. When I was younger, I didn't speak till the age of five, so that's kind of how I communicated. For example, if I wanted something, I'd just go like this. <coughs> However, if I was angry, isn't something that you can just generalise in a word because you can say it's a spectrum but even that doesn't do it justice because there's just so many different types of people and so many different ways of dealing with those different types of people. Autism is a kaleidoscope and it can affect different people at different times in different ways depending on what way you look at it. You might find someone who's shy, you might find someone who's really outgoing, you might find someone who's completely bonkers, sensitive. I'm perfect. <laughs> There's no such thing as perfect. Except me. I find myself like having great difficulties in social situations or like when too many questions are being thrown at me or when there's too much noise. When you're happy, you really enjoy something and you kind of get fixated on just one activity. And when you're extremely unhappy, eh, it shows quite a bit with meltdowns and that. I'm sometimes so focused on one thing that I overreact to something that doesn't really matter that much. But if it keeps building and building and building up, then I can just explode. Like a balloon. Mm. Like everyone's just a jug. When they get too full, they just spill over. And if people are doing something that agitates me, it makes me feel like I'm being trapped in a tight space and uh, it makes me feel hot and squished and it goes boom, boom, boom in my ears. It's a product of you being overwhelmed and your brain jutting down and your body taking over. You don't like being stared at, you don't like being poked. I used to really hate that, I still do. But I like to know what's going on and when something changes, it just tricks me up and I don't, I don't know what's coming next and the fear of the unknown is worse than the thing itself. <laughs> when I was in my previous schools, I didn't have a particularly big circle of friends at all. Like before my law school, I was like a, a really close ball of anger and confusion because they have an idea that if you mix the neurotypicals, it'll all be fine, but it really isn't. The classes at mainstream school were like 30 kids, be really full, and for an autistic kid, that's quite a struggle because it's very busy. Mainstream schools are bad for us autistic people. Yeah. As it causes like our sensory overload. Like I remember I used to come home every day after school and have a meltdown. This school has taught me how to deal with my anxieties and given me strategies to cope with stressful situations. I think the school like <laughs> lets us be who we are but at the same time teaches us how to and behave acceptably in society. In my last school, no one wanted to be friends, and um, the lessons were like hard, and I couldn't concentrate very well. At this school, I, like, got new, I got some new friends who um, are very nice, and I have some nice teachers. When I first came here, I was very quiet. I didn't talk very much. Now I'm it's kind high. of the opposite, but uh, yeah, I you just felt like. We prefer Shh. you like this. I'm Okay. Anyways, yes, I feel like I've just boosted my confidence and I'm getting an understanding of this, this kind of help me understand what the outside world is going to be like in a way and uh, I don't know, I, I just feel super confident. I think maybe when I leave school, um, things will be a lot easier. I, I will have learned about the world a bit more and um, learn how to deal with certain situations that they've prepared, 
preparing me to um, face. Well, I could definitely navigate here, right? From here, I reckon, to everywhere in the country. James can remember anything if he probably puts his mind to it. Autism's got a lot of positives, and like a few negatives. But all the negatives you can sort of flip into a positive if you like looked at it right. I wouldn't ever say that autism defines me. I do like write my own songs and I try to like express myself through that. You have stronger powers of concentration. That's what I read um, once about autism. My mum says that a person with autism has like special powers. Zoe, it's really good that to use a mind puzzle. I think with autism, it helps you like concentrate on stuff that you enjoy doing because it sort of makes you obsessed with it and want to spend a lot of time doing it and progressing in it. All I ever do is train. All, I, all everything I do is like to my cycling which meant I'm really good at cycling. I think my imagination is certainly very powerful and strong. I'm really bad at social cues, but it, on the other side, it's, I'm really good at maths. Sometimes I feel like there's so much going on in my imagination that someday it might burst. I'm very good with my imagination as well. I want to say autism is irrelevant because it's not really what makes me me. It's just a part of my life and it's just like brown hair or glasses. I don't have brown hair, obviously, but like having glasses or being a girl, it's just one of those things that makes me me. It's not, it doesn't decide who I am. Autism is powerful. Autism is crazy like me. Autism to me is being like a flamingo in a flock of pigeons. Autism is like a puzzle, really. This is like an annoying little fly. <laughs> Autism is diverse. <laughs> Autism is awesome. I say autism is just a person who's different and should deserve to have a chance in the world. I think I want to do what in the future is possibly be in the police force because I think I do have quite a lot of empathy for other people. When I grow up I want to be a designing engineer and design robots. I just want to do something where like I can like invent things or do something to do with art. I want to be a show jumper.